Mtazamaji Rais William Ruto ameratibiwa kuzuru kaunti zilizoko eneo la Mlima Kenya kuanzia Jumamosi hiyo kesho itakuwa ni ziara rasmi ya kwanza ya maendeleo kwa Rais William Ruto eneo hilo baada ya uchaguzi wa Agosti mwaka jana. Kulingana na msemaji wa Ikulu Hussein Mohamed, Rais ataanza ziara yake wikendi hii katika kaunti ya Kiambu ambapo atazindua mradi wa usambazaji maji wa Githurai ambao utawafaidi wakazi laki tano na kuunganisha watu 1800 na maji safi. Pia Rais atazindua ukarabati wa soko la Githurai chini ya mpango wa Rais wa kujenga masoko mia nne katika muda wa miaka mitatu ili kuimarisha biashara ya mama mboga. Na katika kaunti ya Kirinyaga, Rais atazindua karabati wa barabara ya Marua kwa Wambui yenye urefu wa kilomita 42.5 na katika kaunti ya Nyeri, Rais William Ruto anatarajiwa kuzindua miradi ya barabara na hata maji. Kulingana na Hussein katika ratiba ya Rais, vile vile anatarajiwa kufanya mkutano na mawaziri katika ikulu ndogo ya Sagana. Some of the president's activities ahead of his uh, five-day walking tour of the Mount Kenya region. During his tour, President Futo will launch uh, various projects aimed at improving the quality of the lives of the people in line with the government's bottom-up economic transformation agenda. This agenda uh, will keep on repeating and reiterating, as the president says, prioritizes bringing down the cost of living, eradicating hunger, creating jobs, expanding the tax base, improving our foreign exchange balance and promoting inclusive growth uh, through interventions in five core sectors of agriculture, MSME's uh, development, uh, housing and settlement, universal health coverage, and uh, digital superhighway and creative economy. The development tour begins tomorrow on Saturday, 5th August 2023. The president will kick off the tour in Gidurai, Kiambu County. Uh, where he'll commission the Gidurai water supply project. Uh, the project will supply about 35,000 cubic meters uh, of water per day uh, to serve over 500,000 residents uh, of Ruiru, Gidurai, Muihoko, and Kahawa, and to provide water connections to about 8,400 people.